All right, folks, so in this video, we're going to tear down this HP Gaming desktop. And uh, one step I'm not going to show you because um, it's kind of a optional thing. But uh, when you have it powered up, uh, if you have the DVD tray out or Blu-ray drive, whatever this is, um, pop this off. And uh, that way later when you're taking it apart, you don't pop it off and uh, have it accidentally break. Uh, usually you can get these off pretty easy and not break the little tabs uh, that are on the inside of it. So, all right, let's get started. We're going to uh, basically put this on its side. All right, so... Um, I brought a couple of flatheads out and uh, we should be good with this big one. Yeah. So different sizes will work. Um, the smaller one probably will not. And you're basically using your flathead to remove that screw there. So, um, nice thing is this thing stays attached. All right, so we've got the screw out. Now we're going to pull on this, pop that off, and put that to the side. So mine may look a little different from yours because I've upgraded a couple things in here. Uh, but overall, it's pretty similar. So we've got uh, four screws we're going to remove. And uh, this is probably something that you could have a uh, maybe a proprietary screwdriver that HP uses. Um, but I found this, uh, this flathead works to remove them. Um, you would not be able to use that, that big one that I just had. So I'm trying to record this from two angles, and uh, there'll be there may be some footage uh, that I used from before uh, I did this to install RAM and stuff. We're tearing this apart in this video so you can see it. And I'm going to take out. Uh, I think I'm going to take all the components out of it. To be honest with you, just leave it sitting here on the the table. I'm going to borrow the uh, video card. Uh, and house it with a, a better CPU for a little while as well. But, uh, all right, so we've removed that. This thing is going to pop up in a way. And uh, so there's that. And the question is, oops, I'm going to leave it there for a second. Um, So this thing, the cords in here are very tight. So we're gonna we're gonna unplug. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug these. These are your SATA cables, okay? And they're probably it may be the only thing holding me up I'm moving this out of the way. All right, there we go. So. Now we can talk about what's in this computer, all right? Now, as I've said, I've did a couple upgrades on this computer, so mine looks a little different. But uh, on the tray, now we've got it flipped over, we have our uh, DVD player. I don't think this does Blu-rays, um, but DVD player, CDs, that is in there. Now, you could connect a, uh, a laptop hard drive here and then on the other side, you can get a laptop hard drive. Uh, in this case, I've got a 2.5 inch SSD or a 3.5 inch uh, hard drive could be stored in there. And something that doesn't come with it, that this has got, it's a little different. I have added a, um, basically a, 
SATA power splitter. So uh, these are available online. There's also this one right here, the StarTech one, that will add a few more drives. Uh, now the negative though, there is not, uh, there's only three SATA slots. So if you don't want your DVD drive, you could quite possibly uh, have three uh, hard drives or solid state drives uh, in here in addition to the M.2 NVMe. All right, so um, what else we got? So let's, this thing comes with eight gigs of RAM. I have obviously uh, installed 16 here. Maybe it's not obvious, but uh, this was the additional stick that I, I installed, which came out of another HP desktop that I have. Um, actually, is in pieces. So here is the this is the original stick. Um, it's pretty much uh, it'd be easy to find another stick of RAM that'll work here. Uh, it'd be nice to match up the exact type, but not necessary. Um, twenty six six. These are uh, twenty six sixty six megahertz DDR four, two hundred eighty eight pin. Now for the um, M.2, let me grab the one that was in here. Alright, so here is the, this is a, uh, not an HP, um, I don't know if I can read it. No. Trying to remember what brand this was. Um, surprisingly, it wasn't like an HP EX 900, 920. Uh, really slow drive that was in here. So I put in that uh, Helix or uh, Mushkin Helix 500 gigabyte. So not only did I, I doubled my storage capacity, but uh, the speed is significantly better. All right, so. What else are we going to take out? I think I might even take out the uh, the CP for you guys. CPU. All right. So, um, assuming we can get this out of here, because this is another place where it looks like proprietary um, type screwdriver. So, let me see if I can get this out of here. There we go. Okay. So, this flathead does work. So, I'm going to take this apart, let you guys see what the... Uh, CPU looks like and I'm actually thinking of uh, either upgrading this CPU or downgrading it but uh, you know I'll probably take this portion of the video out um, to show somebody how to uh, uninstall the uh, CPU and then in the future I will show them how to install a CPU so whether you're upgrading, downgrading, it's another story. And I think I'm going to use the CPU somewhere else, in a different computer. Now, overall, my thoughts on this this computer not bad. Uh, when you build desktops like I do, um, they are. Uh, these are a little disappointing just because they are hard to work on compared to a uh, mid tower. Uh, but I can understand the interest people have in these. Um, and sometimes when I travel on business trips and stuff, I will pack a uh, smaller um, desktop like one of these. Now, I wouldn't take this one because uh, I don't want to damage this one, but I've, I have traveled with my HP, uh, one of my HPs, and I've traveled with my um, with a smaller uh, HP 290. Alright, so we got that. Now we want to remove this, um, pop off the power cable for the fan. And voila. So now I have detached the wrong thing. 
Oops. It helps if you look what you're doing. All right, so there's what uh, this looks like. Pretty much looks like a cheap uh, Intel CPU fan. And there is your uh, CPU. So I'm gonna pull that out of here in a second. All right, so I, I cleaned up the i5-9400F that's in here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull this out. So we would do this and voila. Now, of course, it's always a smart idea to use electrostatic gear, um, especially in the winter time like it is right now. So don't follow my exact footsteps uh, from that aspect. All right, so here is a little close up of the CPU in case I forget to edit it there it is for you guys on that camera um, so I'm gonna put this I'm gonna put this away for safekeeping basically I put that in there so um, like I said this video will be used in two places uh, one you know we'll basically do a video on how to replace the uh, CPU um now it would be smart at least for now for me to put a black cover over top of this uh, so i don't damage it um and we will do that probably uh not in the video but uh shortly so if i wanted to remove the uh m.2 best thing to do is use a uh, a magnet phillips head but uh, this one is a little too big so we're just gonna come over here and use this electronic screwdriver and uh, hopefully I can get it out of here yeah, I'm not sure that's even doing anything folks let me go grab the other screwdriver So here is the uh, the Phillips that I normally use, and uh, it's got a really sharp end to it that uh, fits in these holes perfectly. Not bad from a uh, cheap five dollar uh, set of magnetic Phillips head screwdrivers. All right, so there is your little screw there. Um, Well, somehow we are out of focus. Okay, so you'll want to put that aside too. And then to get this out, basically you just pull that out of there, right? If you want to pull the graphics card out, maybe you got something better you're going to put in there. We'll do that next. So first thing I'm going to do is pop this uh, power cable off the back. I don't know if I can do this one-handed. I should be able to do this one handed. All right, maybe I can't. I don't know. All right, so two hands, that's out. Now let's pull the, uh, let's go ahead and pull the graphics card out of here. I'm set this up so you guys can see it. Okay, so uh, once again, it would appear that uh, I want you to use a flathead. So I think we have to pull this screw out. We may have to pull out one more. Um, yeah, looks like this top one. Okay, which did totally nothing. Sorry, there you go. So that's popped out. All right, so 
usually there's a little lever in here pop out the graphics card so you'll want to push that down and uh i'm not going to be able to do it here looks like with uh that camera so let's uh move this hopefully into position um where you can see it and we'll push down on that lever And boom, out comes the graphics card. So there is your, uh, then you can remove all the plastic. That's amazing. Um, so there is your graphics card. Let me use the other camera for that. Uh, and there you go. There's the, uh, I would call this like a mini GeForce GTX 16. 60 ti and it is uh like a all right so we got the graphics card out here is the geforce gtx 1660 i um, it is an eight pin connector it is um, built by hp or some other uh, company that builds them for them has a display port hdmi and dual dvi and overall it is a pretty decent graphics card Maybe not as good as one by UEGA or a different company. Um, so let's talk about things that are in here. Here's your uh, CMOS battery. Somehow you screw something up in your uh, BIOS and uh, next thing you know it goes black. Good chance popping that out might reset your BIOS. Um, there's your uh, Wi-Fi card. This uh, couple different powers to the, uh, this is probably the uh, motherboard power where this was the CPU power that I uh, accidentally unplugged trying to get the fan out I'll plug that back in DDR4 288 pin slots two of those the M.2 NVMe uh, three SATA 3 uh, connectors then you've got your PCI Express uh, that the graphics card came out of another PCI Express a smaller one and obviously that's where your CPU is. So uh, here is like an 80 millimeter fan, just for reference. That's what it looks like on that side. And here is a 400 watt uh, HP power supply that, uh, don't ask me if you can upgrade that. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, I don't think you really could fit much uh, bigger of a graphics card in here. That'd be the other thing to talk about here without if you left this thing behind uh, and left a hole in the front of your computer, then you could probably do it. But there you go, folks. That is the uh, teardown video.